Hey you know, guys, Chris here from Spartan again, of course with Elna. We are at our kettlebell training tips section of our videos and we are going to take a look at the jerk, probably one of the most complex and technical lifts going around. Elna, you've got all the experience. Talk to me, what's important with this lift? Uh, to not... Um, you, it's okay to do a push press. Okay. So let's have a look at the push press. press. It look like this. Yep. Yep. So you're mostly using your arms for this exercise. Yes. Okay, what do we want to see instead? Uh, a double dip. Okay, what do you mean by that? Let's let's have a look. So you're actually dropping underneath it quite a lot. Yes. Okay. In instead this... of doing one yep. lift with your legs, I yep. do. So it's a very distinct dip at the start, yes. dip underneath. And why why are we trying to get this move right? It will uh, save you energy okay. again. Again. And um, yeah. it's the more correct way to to yeah, do form I, I a lift. I think so. Yes. Okay. Good. What else? Breathing. Okay. Once okay. again, it is the hot topic with all our kettlebell training. Breathing is so important with every lift that you want to do. What's important about breathing with the jerk? To breathe in every moment. Good. Good. Again. Yeah. So Do you want to demonstrate your breathing? Yes. Yep. So at the top position, once you've completed your lockout, you're actually taking a breath to a recover? Breath again. Okay. Yes. So I don't, uh, don't stress, burn. stress yep. away. Okay, so this is probably something that a lot of people don't do correct, is that right? They might get that, yes. but they don't then relax at the top position. So there you go, adding a second breath in to that top position will actually create some efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right, let's have a look. I mean, this is one of the competitive lifts, is that right, in kettlebell lifting? Yes. Yes. So in competition, what is a requirement for, for the lift? To have your lockout in okay. your legs and in your arms. All right, let's have a look what you mean by that. Instead of having my arm yeah. bend. Yeah, and your legs straight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would try to. So you're locking out your arm before you're locking out your legs. Yes. Exactly. Okay, and this is important because I will get a no count if I don't. Okay, so you're not going to get a rep if you if you fail that movement. Yes. So there we have it. Three important lifts for the jerk. Thanks for holding the bell up that whole time. <laughs> We're looking at, of course, the push press, which is okay to do, but ideally to create that relaxation and efficiency. You want to get that double dip, which is what makes the jerk so technical. The second thing, of course, is breathing. And the point that we picked out was try and get that second relaxation breath, yeah, relaxation breath that is, in the top position. And of course, the third thing is your lockout. You have to get that right. Your arm needs to be locked out before your legs to complete a successful lift. Thank you, Elna. And guys, you can check out more at kettlebells.nu.